everyone and welcome to my new toilet paint video and today guys we are going to make a Sabrina Carpenter doll in my last video I've already made Chapel Roan another huge superstar who became famous in 2024 and today it's Sabrina's time because yes we were that lucky this year to get two new huge pop stars rising this summer in the summer of 2024 and I really love both of these girls I had both of their albums on repeat literally on my YouTube music absolutely love them so I want to make them together sort of like a mini series of dolls uh, Chapel Roan, Sabrina Carpenter so today it's Sabrina's time let's make this doll I think it will be something short and sweet this time I guess but actually, before we begin, I have to remind you guys, of course, to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new dolls every week Friday or every second week Friday. So please subscribe, don't miss the new videos. And if you like things that I make here on this channel, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And this being said, let's start the transformation. I've chosen this Twyla Monster High doll to become the mini Sabrina because she has a smaller body, it's like a younger sibling Monster High body. So I think she will be just ideal for this project because you know Sabrina, she's a very petite girl. So let's undress her, let's remove everything that can be removed to get a clean canvas and then we'll start the real makeover. Perfect, everything is gone, so now I can seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we can start drawing. But first of all, I have to change her skin tone, of course. Making Sabrina with purple skin would be an interesting choice, let's be honest. So, I first cover her face with yellow soft pastels. Yellow and purple colors are the opposites on a color wheel, so they will sort of cancel each other. And then I will apply some layers of light nudes as usually on top of it. Mm -hmm. 
Sabrina's makeup includes a lot of blush, brown lips with a darker brown liner, very dark and very white eyebrows, everything is very trendy, and natural eye look. So, let's go for it, and the biggest change here I will make around her lips area, because I want to, to make her look kind of smiling. I want to change this facial expression of this doll, just with pencils and soft pastels.
Okay, I think I'm happy with her face. I can stop it here. Now let's work on her body and I want to paint the dark gray parts of her arms purple. And then I will blush it all with soft pastels. But first I must sand the body, of course, both to give the surface a better grip and also to remove these paintings on her limbs. Okay, the face and the body look good, so now I can work on her outfit. And I want to recreate this look. She had this corset in more than one color, so I think it's typical Sabrina. It's very short, with hearts, with glitter, so let's make a pink version of it. I start with making the corset out of Orbla Thermoplastic, and then I will paint it with pink acrylics. You can see the boning of this corset kind of coming through, so I want to draw it. Then I cover the corset with pearl sand paint, it will give it a little bit of some soft shine. Then 
the boning I cover with glossy varnish. And then I add glitter. So this is what I've made so far, I think it looks really adorable, so now let's add a skirt. If you can call it a skirt, it's some lace <laughs> wrapped around her hips. And you know this lace looks a little bit too heavy on this tiny doll scale. So I will add some organs on top of it and it will add some air, some lightness to the look. I think it will give the needed effect. Yes, now it looks perfect. It's super cute and it's so Sabrina, really an adorable outfit. Now we need to make shoes and I want to make one of those massive shoes with huge platforms that she wears regularly. I've never made anything like this on this channel, so let's experiment. And I begin with making sort of ballerina shoes and I paint them pink. And I use Warbler Thermoplastic for it, of course. Then I'm taking baking clay and sculpting those huge soles and very thick and big heels.
and then I bake them in the oven. Now we can glue the soles to the shoes and then I will decorate them with glitter. This is what I've got in the end. I don't know, it's maybe not 100% perfect yet, but it looks very cute. The vibe is there, so I'm very happy. So guys, now it's hair time, and I will use actually the same yarn that I used for my Chapel Rome doll a week ago. It's such kind of yellowish blonde. So, let's cut this yarn, brush it, straighten it to turn it into hair, and then let's glue it to the doll's head. Everything is dry, everything looks perfect, so I can continue working on it. And first of all, I want to take brown soft pastels and I want to darken the roots of her hair to make it look more natural.
yes, it already looks much better. I really love it. So now let's cut and style it. You know, I think I've cut a little bit too much on the sides, but it worked out. She really looks like Sabrina now. I'm very happy with her look, very cute. So now let's add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and this is my finished Sabrina Carpenter doll and I think she looks super sweet, super cute, super adorable. You know, drawing her face, like trying to make her smile was a little bit challenging, but I think it all worked out perfectly in the end. Her outfit really screams Sabrina, she wears things like this all the time. I think it's very recognizable. So guys, I hope you had fun watching this makeover. And by the way, if you watched both Chapel Roan and Sabrina Carpenter videos, I would really love to know which one is your favorite out of the two and also why. I'm really curious to know. I mean, not the girls, I mean the dolls. Which doll you liked more, the Chapel doll or Sabrina doll? Uh, and I also would be very grateful for some reposts of this video. And if you could tag Sabrina, it would be absolutely absolutely fantastic because you know I always wish the artists could see my dolls of them it would be simply unbelievable it never really happens but there is always a chance if you spread the word and if you want to buy this doll you can find her on eBay for seven days the link you can find in the description under this video so guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos because the next one will be the first Halloween special. So have a nice weekend. See you in the next video. Bye.